Hello, my name is Daniel. What we're going to be looking at today is submersible pumps. We happen to have one in our residence. Some people don't have submersible pumps. The problem with them, if they're in operation all the time, they tend to fail between five and seven years. It's very common if they're being used year round. So what we're going to start off with, um, we're going to unplug it like I just did here. Then we're going to take a look. I have no idea what our particular looks like. I had to cut a little piece off to be able to get in anyways. So I'm going to take it off and we're going to take a look and see what we got. So that's uh, a major concern. So if you have a pump and we have a, a real wet season, a lot of rain outside, your submersible pump area might get uh, filled up. You should be checking these at least twice a year in the fall and in the spring to make sure it's operating properly because those are the times you're going to be hit the worst. So, so as we get this opened up, we're going to take a look inside and see what we got. Okay. Ooh, we happen to be lucky. Ours is bone dry. Bring it in. You can see it's just dirt and dust. So what we're going to end up doing right here right now is we're going to bring in a shop vac and I'm going to clean this up. We got a lot of paper, and, um, uh, sorry, a lot of plastic in there. That would be a major problem. That would hinder the impeller. So if you keep there for a second, I'm going to try to reach the float. not going to work because it's not plugged in but I'm going to leave it up there for a second and I'm just going to plug it in we're going to test to make sure it works my submersible pump works and it looks like there was water in it at one time so now I'm going to take the time we're going to vacuum it out and it should only take a couple seconds Turn on my And I'm going to knock down my float again. If you want to look here again, knock down this float so it's down there. Now I can plug back in my submersible pump and put screws in it. Just remember, all that little plastic particles would get in where the impeller is when it starts to run, and it would burn out the motor at the worst possible time. So take time, clean it out, and you'll like your submersible pump, and it'll last a lot longer. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And of course, don't forget to screw it back together again because it is a safety hazard. People can fall down there, especially your kids. And 
everything's getting rid of. Thank you very much. It's plugged back in. We're ready to go again. Have a great day, everybody. From DDCL.